What's a career that doesn't exist, yet, that you think should? Would you want the job? Time traveler and yes. I think raising kids should be a paid job. So women would be paid for that job they do for free. House cleaning therapist with connections to a social worker who will help me get medication. I'd love a job where I do nothing and make money. I don't think that exists but it totally should and I'm 100% in. I am not a part of this girl boss phenomena. I want to sit home and make money. I'm tired already of working and life is too short to sit in an office all day five days a week. Does anybody else love farting? Fart tennis? It is such a satisfying release. But personally I enjoy it mostly when I am home alone. In front of other people is just not the same. Farting is very funny. My grandchildren thinks it's hilarious. My personal fave is the one that sneaks out when I bend down to put my socks on. I'm laughing now at the thought. Yes. I enjoy it as well. Except I'm at a place I have to hold them. Then I hate that I have to fart. But else they can be really fun. If I'm with friends and someone drops one. It's always a good laugh. Actually. Yes. The release feels really good. I've done the keto diet a few times. And when you're not eating bread. Sugar and such. You're never bloated. You don't really produce any gas. And there have been times there where I've missed the feeling of it. Truth be told. Day's body boot up in the morning? Not exactly but I often describe the mental process I need to go through to get out of bed in the morning as logging into my body. Booting up would be another apt description. Got to sort of move all my limbs one by one and turn over a few times before I can convince myself to get up. No. But this sounds cool. Like you're a robot. Haven't noticed that. Some mornings I wake up and for like 20 monies nothing hurts. Then it's like reality kicks in. Nerves light up. Muscles realize they're moving and all the pain floods in at once. I try to get as much done in that small amount of time as I can. Then lie back down and hit the ibuprofen slash migraine meds slash blood pressure meds etc. Occasionally if I can force a nap during the day same thing will happen. That is a blessed 20 minutes. In 2022 I started learning a foreign language and started learning to play guitar. What do you recommend for 2023? Been playing guitar one year? Keep practicing. Don't give up your practice time for anything new. Improve your fitness and start learning a martial art. Start investing. Learn first aid. Volunteer at a charity or humanitarian organization. Whatever brings you happiness and inner peace. Though the travel to a place that speaks the language you learned sounds like an excellent idea too. Get better at your foreign language and guitar. I wouldn't add any new major hobbies. One year isn't enough time to be decent. Guitar hero. I'd man. I know I like it. Didn't get into when it was popular but it's fairly cheap and easy to get into on PC. Get better at that language and guitar. Mastery takes lots of time and is totally different than being a novice. I took up playing guitar 7 months ago and I still suck but I suck less than when I started. New girlfriend is Brazilian so I'm learning how to speak Portuguese also. You can teach old dogs new tricks. Whitewater kayaking. Boxing lessons. Get a good used dirt bike and find some places to go ride. The latter two are my goals for this upcoming year. Subscribe to stay updated on others recommendations. Learn to solve a Rubik's Cube. Easier than you think. Learn to whistle with your fingers. Learn to brush your teeth with your opposite hand. Learn to pick a lock. Cooking or baking? Knitting or crocheting? Painting or woodcrafting? I'd what's the English term? It's 3 a.m. here and I'm not a native English speaker. That thing where you make stuffs from woods. Get into one new workout routine, swimming, biking, running, hiking, golfing, etc. Does constant brain fog constitute a doctor's visit? So I guess this isn't just a symptom of getting older. We'll definitely be bringing it up to my doctor when I go for my physical. It's worth a visit to the doctor. There's a number of health issues that could cause that including, thyroid issues, bacterial overgrowth, and high blood pressure all of which could improve from treatment. Additionally that's just not a fun thing to live with if you don't have to. It's a side effect of a medication I take and I only tolerate it because it's better than having migraines all the time. Definitely. You should probably be doing an annual preventive visit anyway. Which generally includes basic blood work that will check thyroid, ferritin, etc. This could be a sign of celiac disease or at least non-gluten wheat sensitivity. Other common causes are, blood sugar dysregulation, poor gut health generally, B12, B1, folate, B6 and iron deficiency, these are often low in vegan and vegetarian diets, chronic inflammation, most of these can be tested on general blood work labs from your GP so definitely pay your doctor a visit. I would look into it, could be an indication of several conditions, look to see if your insurance provides a telehealth service, usually much cheaper and potentially free and they can refer you to see a specialist rather than wasting time and dollar on a general practitioner visit. This could be a sign of celiac disease or at least non-gluten wheat sensitivity. Other common causes are, blood sugar dysregulation, poor gut health generally, B12, B1, folate, B6 and iron deficiency, these are often low in vegan and vegetarian diets, chronic inflammation, most of these can be tested on general blood work labs from your GP so definitely pay your doctor a visit. Has anybody else experienced this? Do you know how or when did it stop?
Maybe your head hurts when you wake up and start hearing this noise? I used to hear my pulse in my ears when I woke up from nightmares. Could it be something similar to that? I've never heard that before. I had the Pink Floyd acid trip half awake hands felt like two balloons all the time and multiplying number national debt nightmares. Funny. Do you have blood pressure problems? Could be your hazard beat in your ears or the three little bones in your cochlea vibrating. Sometimes when I wake up. If I move fast. My blood pressure and heart will skyrocket. I'm fat and have been a heavy smoke since age 15.